Sonic State here at Synfest 2023. I'm here with Jean Baptiste, or JB, uh, who's here representing the MIDI Association, and uh, we're doing a talk later. Now, specifically, I guess we're going to talk about MIDI 2.0. And the fact now MIDI 2.0 is here and is slowly being uh, taken up by manufacturers. What I'm curious about though, is what do you think, uh, how could we encourage more um, manufacturers to embrace MIDI 2? What, what, uh, oh. Well, the, the main obstacles for manufacturers to get starting uh, developing MIDI 2.0 products is that the operating system supports it. And then that, audio workstation supported right because if you, if you're a plugin developer or a controller developer and you have nothing to test midi 2.0 with apart from benchmark uh -huh. tools it becomes a bit harder okay now That's the good news is that apple has been fully supporting midi oh, 2.0 already really and logic as well so both of them like to get testing you, you can't test today with ableton and you can't test with with cubase yet but you will in time. But for now, if you, if you develop a rough plugin, a audio unit, for example, you can test it with Logic and an Apple fully. Mm, so that's okay. and, and then the media station. Yeah, it's a big step, absolutely. And I think that, that's that's what takes so much time. You know, mm -hmm. how how do you convince these big organizations that have a very busy um, backlog of things to do? to change and, and, and right. test, you know, this new drive. Okay, that backlog, that's very, very interesting to make, uh, yeah, to, to, to get the importance of it to be embedded at such an important level. So Apple have done the right thing. So Microsoft need to follow suit, I'm guessing. Yes, I, in uh, fact, I, they are meeting right now, the yeah. MA, the Japanese organization, the Media Association, uh -huh. uh, with Pete Brown, who's the chair of the, of the Media Association. Yeah. Uh, they're meeting today in Redmond, um, in, in, the, in America at the headquarters of Microsoft to discuss the next steps. Okay. And there's a lot happening. So the drivers have been built, they're being tested. Okay. And they will ship in an upcoming version of, of uh, an update yeah. of Windows. Okay, so any of you out there who are developers, this is good then. So, you know, maybe if you're just on the edge there, that this may be the thing that you need just to embrace it. So let, for people maybe who aren't familiar with the advantages of MIDI 2.0, uh, what could you just sort of just go through a few of the kind of headline sure. sort of things really? Yeah, so MIDI 1.0, one thing that everybody has noticed at some point if you worked with a controller, is kind of this staircasing. Yeah. When you have 128 Sta values yeah. only to, to change from if you, Mm -hmm. You know, if you sweep a filter mm -hmm. or, you know, a, a frequency, yeah. you would hear it because it yeah. just discreetly goes from one to the next. Step, step, step. Yeah. So that's one big thing. So we increase the resolution of all the controllers to 16,000. 16,000 steps. Instead of 128. Yeah. So that in itself is pretty huge. That's, it's pretty huge. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one thing. Then another one is kind of discovery. So. MIDI 2.0 device will start talking to each other. Yeah. They will say, hey, I'm an MPE device. Yeah. So send me information that, that is already formatted in that way and mm -hmm. that will respond exactly how the user wants. Nice. So, you know, each, uh, each manufacturer software developers will be able to sort of specify yeah. the, the ins and outs of their software or, or hardware and so that it communicates in the best way possible with mm -hmm. other um, and, and with that in mind, if it does send like a, a, a capability inquiry to a MIDI one device, it just hears nothing back. It, it reverts. Just, it back. just reverts back to MIDI one. So this, right. so everything is thoroughly compatible with Absolutely. our beloved yes. MIDI one. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, but then, uh, so like you mentioned, MPE. Now that's been uh, something that that the uh, the MIDI uh, Association of written into the well into the midi one yes. standard now absolutely isn't it? yeah um but but a good example then as you say the like for a device to c connect and without having to go into the settings menus just they optimize themselves automatically see this is really great end user stuff as well isn't it so yes. having that lovely um you know resolution combined with that lack of having to you know roll your sleeves up and figure out how to get it those alone are really big but there's, there's more to it than that as well isn't there with, with midi 2 um, absolutely so, so you have the capability of setting 
directly the Prime Minister is inquiring them. Mm -hmm. What is the current state of, is, is there a note playing? You know, right. and then which note is it? So, so the other device can know that and then, well, change this parameter, you know, mm -hmm. add, add some reverb on it or whatever. It's like okay. you, you have a, 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 a finesse of control mm -hmm. that's much, much improved. So I'm wondering even if things like MIDI panic may become a thing in the past then, because if, if like a MIDI note gets trapped, there could be, I don't know, just things to yes, recognize absolutely. that. And well, the thing with, with MIDI 1 and sort of, uh, you know, the, this, um, the fact that you can send data only one way and yeah. it doesn't come back, you know, it's, it's yeah. like you, you don't have a response, right? Uh, there's no communication. Now you have a communication, so absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Panic button might yeah. not be needed in well, the future. Yeah, and but then also in things in terms of like so we, you know, we've been talking like you mentioned about that 128 steps, something very familiar, MIDI ranges, not to 127. All of those, you know, uh, MIDI channels, the amount of um, uh, the amount of messages that you that you can send, like in MIDI one, and you get in a package, a, like the the information arrives in a package and if the clock information is a few messages behind leads to MIDI jitter but MIDI 2 also cures those issues as well doesn't it? Yes it does uh, there's, there's our uh, possibility for um, well there is kind of this response thing so you, you, you can check the time as well uh, that is delivered on the right time so it, oh, it can, it, right. And that will eliminate jitter then, I suppose, or the jitter that is from the message priorities. Um, right, for timing. You, you know, this is something that I will need to get back to you okay. on to, to, be, to be fully okay. <laughs> exact about this. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, the, the jitter is, historically for MIDI, was due to electricity parasites, you know, cables, okay. etc. Yeah, like he didn't sit. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, so, so USB has solved a lot of that because it, there's right. much more uh, s security of the, over the transmission. Yeah, uh, there's ways of it to address it with with um, with the packet delivery as well. Okay, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. So I'll, I'll get back to you. In okay, I <laughs> <laughs> well, just uh, well, I, I think. Um, well, you're going to be giving a talk later for the lucky people here at Synthfest. But uh, JB, thank you so much for talking thank to you us. Guys. And good My luck pleasure. with uh, promoting MIDI 2.0. And uh, I think we should just uh, finish off right here. MIDI 2.0, easy to use, more expressive, includes MIDI 1.0. Built for today, ready for tomorrow, arriving now. Yes. Hurrah. <laughs> and the new MIDI logo, of course. The new MIDI logo. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank <laughs> you.